can tackle any major job in your personal or work life by breaking it down into manageable and achievable steps. In the context of project management, the Work Breakdown Structure, or WBS, gives you control of a project by breaking work down into manageable units. To create a WBS, you use a process called decomposition. During decomposition, you subdivide the elements of your project into progressively smaller components, starting with the project name and refining each level of decomposition until you are able to identify the smallest units of work that must be done. The smallest unit of work is called the work package. The WBS is very helpful when it comes to planning and then managing a project. It helps you define project team members' responsibilities because work packages are small enough to assign to particular project team members. This helps you to estimate the resources that will be needed for the work package and for the project as a whole. The WBS also facilitates budget creation. The cost associated with each decomposed element of a WBS will be the sum of the costs of all the elements underneath it. If you have identified all the work at each level, you can be certain that the costs associated with each identified area will be budgeted for. If you forget something, your budget may be deficient. The project manager can determine what a particular phase will cost simply by adding all costs from the lower levels of the WBS that feed into this phase. You could use this method to gauge costs at any level of the WBS, setting control accounts to monitor important cost components of the project. A WBS also helps you with scheduling. If you're using the WBS when creating the schedule, you know for sure that you've included all the work needed to complete the project. Another role that the WBS plays is in allowing better control of the project. For example, when the project manager finds that one of the team members assigned to a particular work package is going to be absent for eight weeks, he checks the WBS. To avoid delays, he hires another team member. This will add to the cost of the project. By running this change in cost up through the WBS, he is able to get an idea of the impact this could have on the project as a whole. The project manager uses the WBS to monitor and control the project budget. Using the WBS, the project manager can ensure that no extra cost is overlooked. He can see how budgetary changes will impact the project and so can quickly take steps to deal with problems. One final point to bear in mind about the WBS is that it should identify work packages or deliverables, the results of effort rather than the effort itself. A good way to do this is to make sure you list all components as nouns instead of verbs. This is because the names in the WBS tell you what should be achieved, not how it should be achieved. Now we're going to talk more about what should be represented in each layer of a WBS. The top level in any WBS is the project name, which represents the ultimate goal of the project. This is the starting point for the WBS you'll create. It's at the second level that you have to decide how best to structure the project work. There's no right or wrong method of structuring a WBS. It will depend on the size and nature of the project and on company or personal preferences. For example, you might choose to structure the second level of a WBS by phases, by major deliverables, or by subprojects. It's important that the WBS accurately represent all the work that must go into a project. So don't forget to include the work that goes into project management. Once you have decided on the upper structure for a WBS, you need to break it down further into tasks, subtasks, and work packages. Typically, it makes sense to include from four to six levels of decomposition. This is to ensure the WBS is not overly complex and remains manageable. A good way to analyze the accuracy of a WBS is by using what's called the 100% rule. According to this, each level of decomposition must add up to 100% of the work required for the level above it. If you find this isn't applying, you need to reevaluate the structure of the WBS. So in summary, the WBS has four main purposes. It enables you to assign responsibility to team members and control a project as it progresses. It also enables you to create an accurate project schedule and facilitates accurate cost estimates.
To create a WBS, you decompose a project from its phases, deliverables, or sub-projects down to the lowest level work packages. There is no right or wrong structure. You just base it on the nature of your project and how it will best allow you to plan and manage the work.